Welcome to Fast Fun Friday. Today I am going to play with some alcohol ink on top of acrylic paint and try and bend it to my will. So let's see what happens. Yep, that's what I'm doing. It's kind of fun. I did a test run. This is, um, what kind of paper is this? This is Canon Glossy Photo Paper. It's like the kind that you would run through your inkjet printer. And I started with a coat of Lumineer metallic acrylic paint. And I think the trick here is for the paint to be fairly wet when you apply the alcohol ink. So I have three pieces of the um, three pieces of the photo paper taped down here and I've added water to my paint to make it pretty juicy and what I did discover is it dries like super fast on this photo paper so I get a nice fairly even coat on the paper and then what I want to do is cover these pieces up. I'm just going to give it a mist with my fine mister water and while it's wet I will drop some alcohol ink into it and you get really unpredictable unexpected cool results. Now that's probably not good because it's probably going to bleed over onto that other piece of paper. For some reason my alcohol ink bottles just really release a lot of ink. Now what I'm going to do is from fairly far away I'm going to go ahead and mist it again and get that halo coming out of there and then I'm going to add that was mermaid and this is honeycomb and I'm going to try to get a little bit smaller and these papers you could use them for the front of a card you could tear them up perhaps and use them in an art journal but I just think it's really pretty. And then the other thing, I have just some alcohol in a dropper bottle. This is 91% alcohol. And I didn't want that much. I really wanted to try to get some small. And with, <clears throat> with the white background, you're not going to notice it as much. So we'll try that again. Later with a, on one of the other ones, I'm going to put a darker background. So we'll leave that one to dry. And when it dries, you'll get the pearlescent effect of this is uh, pearl white lumineer. And the, the background of this one was the metallic gold. And I'll try and turn it to the light. You might be able to see that shimmery gold background. This isn't the most beautiful piece. It was just practice to see, can I etch into it? How far is it going to spread? What's it going to do kind of thing? This one I like much better. So I have pearl violet. So let's try pearl violet as a background color and see if we get different results with a darker color on the background. Ooh, that's really pretty. But you'll see as I apply this, you see the streakiness. It just like almost immediately is drying or else it's mixing with the emulsion maybe on the front of this photo paper. I'm not sure what's going on, but you're not going to get a super smooth background. But I think it's fine. Then if you spray it. That's what's going to let your, and this is water, but
but that's what will let your alcohol inks spread. And we are getting a bit of buckling here, so they may move to places we don't really want them to be, but maybe we'll just help them move, I don't know. This one's moving all by itself onto my paper. So we're going to have a little bit of something something going on there. These are not moving much at all. I'm going to, let's try the blending solution and see what it does. See if that helps it move a little bit. Yep. So that's good. So we know that that works to get it to continue to move on this acrylic surface. And I'm assuming I could probably go ahead and grab a brush here. Blend it out a bit if I wanted to. And I'm, well, oh, that's interesting. That picked the ink up, that didn't. Not sure why. Again, there too. So if you wanted a broken paint effect, I guess that's good to know that that can happen. So what if we don't like that? What can we do about it? I'm not sure. Let's try. Um, I'm going to try to put some more paint there. Now we're really into the un <laughs> realm of the unknown here. Let's see. I um, wish I had a mixative, but I don't. I'm just going to go ahead and try this oregano color. And put it right on that wet acrylic there and see what it does. Not very pretty. Not very pretty. I like this one on the light background and this one not so much. Let's see if I just put more deliberate drops of alcohol on there, if it will push it a little bit. Not much. Okay, that one I would call a fail. It's ugly. Let's see what we can do with it, if anything, probably nothing. It's just, but you know, regardless, even just spreading this out like this, I could see um, tearing this up and using it for collage on a journal page or something. Kind of like it better now than I did when it was fully covered. So, all right, that's number two, and I really got it all over this piece of paper. Let's see, um, let's do, so I don't like the dark background nearly as much. It may have been the color that I picked. I have this metallic olive. I'm going to mix it with a little what's left of, well, actually I'll add a little bit more. I have some of the pearl white. I'm going to mix them together and try and go for a kind of a light green color for the background. Get that purple out of my brush. I think a lot has to do with how wet this is. And maybe it would work better on UPO as opposed to this photo paper. I have a feeling that's a fingerprint right there. Mm -hmm. Where it's just not going to, paint's not going to stick. That's okay. All right. 
so we'll wet it again. And let's try, what do I have here? Red pepper. Pretty. like it. The water is running, but alcohol ink not as much. A little bit here, which is kind of cool. Let's go in with some lemonade. See if it pushes that red around a little. Different. Try some on its own there in the water. I'm going to spray it. Let, really let it run. And I, I don't know if you can see it all of the little pieces of the mica that's in that metallic paint moving around in those water puddles. Interesting. I'm sure we could take it a lot farther, but this is Fast Fun Friday, so I'm going to keep it kind of short here. Let's see if we can't just move this a little bit. And just to spark your interest and your curiosity as to what happens when you mix different art supplies that you don't normally think of mixing. It's interesting you see how much brighter that red is right where that fingerprint was because it was on the white paper as opposed to the green paint. So you do get a more muted effect, which is cool if that's what you're going for. I'm going to pick up some of this purple that's left on my mat, the purple background color here, the acrylic, and just tap that on with the baby wipe just for and then maybe some of the green. So have fun. Pull out your supplies and try some unexpected things. You never know what you might get, what you might love. Let's uh, I'm gonna take this tape off and see how they look as individual pieces as opposed to all lumped together here. So I think each one of them is kind of cool in its on its own. That's kind of moody and interesting. I like the kind of sponged on effect. In the light it really, that luminaire paint really, really glistens. We got some of that green running over this. I kind of like that. Let that have its way and move around a little bit. I like that. This one, very pretty, different. I don't know what that dark line is right there. So I will for sure be using these in my art journal. I'm going to dry them off and they'll go in my folder of papers to use. But as you can see on this one, 
if you, I just took a, a pretty heavy duty needle and you can etch into it while it's wet. So like if you wanted to turn those into flowers or you wanted to scribe it in some other way or you didn't, you know, you moved your drops in different ways. So play, experiment, have fun. You never know what will happen. I like what happened. I, li I even like this one now. It's got a real grungy, kind of cool look to me. I like it. So, even the fail turned out okay. Hope you enjoyed this Fast Fun Friday. Push your art supplies. Make them do what you want them to do or um, just experiment with them and try them in ways that you wouldn't normally expect to use them. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye.